Yeah, so this is the absolute best game I've played uh, in Platinum. Also, I'm just going to leave this ID up here for a sec. You guys be sure to follow Matt so you can check out his other replays when he makes them. Yeah, although if you don't want spoilers for our YouTube channel, maybe don't check all the public ones. Or I can just save a few so we've got stuff to talk about. But yeah, if you guys want to just go ahead and check that. You might see me online. Maybe we play uh, some games. You can, have, you can have some fun. You can watch me misplay in real time. Yeah, actually, just in the interest of saving time, I'm just going to type it into the chat. 426475. Okay. There you go. Yeah, Cartoons. Uh, I really want to thank Cartoons for this game. This game was uh, excellent. I really enjoyed this. Opponent is playing Dinosaurs. So you can probably already oh dear. go from that. <laughs> yeah. VFD so, going right. first or OTK going second? And he went first. Okay. Yeah, so... So he's not taking the pill. Fossil Dig's an easy choice. Terraforming, so still... Oh, Raptor, though. And Rex, which you're never taking. Yep, Fossil Dig. Okay. So he didn't want Diagram as much as he wanted a baby, which means he already has Oviraptor. Yeah. Oh, also, or just back up. Okay, yeah. Is miscellaneous Saurus being legal is just disgusting. I just want to say that. Like, all dinosaurs are now mute everything. So this is a case of where I know my opponent can make... Uh, was it VF? Is it VFD or VFG? It's yeah. true king of all calamities. The Japanese name for it is literally VFD. <laughs> yeah, true king of calamities. Like, that's what the impermanence is going to be held back for. The weird thing is the English names for the other three were still Vanisher, Fathomer, and Disaster, which is what VFD stands for, but the VFD part didn't come over. Oh, okay. So, yeah, opponent's going to get free reign. I've got no interaction. They've got miscellaneous source, which makes their dinosaurs like unaffected by everything, right? Shin Ryu O. Doesn't that mean like God King Dragon? <laughs> that is something for somebody far more fluent in Japanese. <laughs> well, I was asking Earl, who's far more fluent in Japanese. Oh, yeah, I, I know Shin to mean like God and O to mean King. Like that literally says like God Dragon King the Beast. <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah, so I'm just going to go full scrap combo. I'm like, do I negate with impermanence? And generally, my line of play has been, if I don't understand what my opponent's combos are, I'm just going to see what their board is at the end of it, and then break it from there. Because the biggest risk you play with Slam and Dining Permanence is that they have enough extenders to just go ahead and uh, do their combo anyway. And if you don't understand where the breakpoints are in combos, it's really not worth throwing down um, key things like Impermanence that will let you play through uh, a negation. I mean, he's, yeah. like from he's, he's like under that. Misk, so like Fibrax is the first viable place to use Imperm in the entire combo, and frankly, I'd rather hope he shotguns VFD in the draw phase and Imperm it. But he's got a Savage Dragon now, so it doesn't matter even if you do try to do that. Hooray! Yeah, so it's just a case of like, I don't know what my opponent's doing, oh, so God. I'm gonna, a Royal I'm gonna Rare Dolka. It gets worse. I mean, it gets worse. The Bisk Dweller. Well, that actually has an interaction in this. Oh, and then he's got the Book of Moons. Yeah. Worse. There's All there's right. no playing through pulls it. the UCT. Pulls, it. Pulls, pulls, pulls a replay? I wanted to yeah, let you draw so... a card first, sorry. <laughs> okay, go on, let me draw the card and then pull it. Right, so. Oh, oh no, six card back <laughs> have played Yu-Gi-Oh! and had this exact situation happen to them. Like, oh, Black, Black Glass Sab knows exactly. Like, this is yeah, just literally I saw the dots. Pockets, right? <laughs> Opponent's field is unstoppable frat boy party going on over there. They're all rocking out. And I am compl I'm completely stuck. Like, how many interactions is that? Just one, two, three, four, five, six when you can't add the... Uh, Dweller. Right, so... They've got six interactions in my six cards, plus whatever's in their hand, right? So, the biggest threat to consider in play that stops me from winning the game is Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. My entire game hinges on my opponent playing their Conductor Tyranno at the wrong time. I'm all in, and I can't actually win with these cards. So I'm re relying on my opponent to activate the uh, Needle Fiber, so that Max C turns into one new card. But the game hinges on that ultimate conductor trano so if you want to play it from here yeah like if 
if by the end of this duel you don't want to build Adagnister, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this deck has been great for me. Like, it was so clean to climb with. My win rate was extremely high. Yeah, so first but, of all, we've got to turn off the Savage Dragon. Yeah, That's the most like, important thing, because it's the Omni Negate. Yeah, just trade with the Savage Dragon. Get it out of the way. And you pick the Savage Dragon and not the UCT, so that you don't telegraph that you're scared of the UCT. Well, it's just like, if I target the UCT, he negates it with uh, both anyway, right? Right, so, but it, what I'm saying yeah. is, that, like, if you pick the UCT and force the negate of the Savage, you still tell him, like, I didn't want yeah. this UCT to happen. Yeah, so the game ends if they UTC here. Right. Uh, we're going to bank on our opponent not doing that because they've got Dolker. So they go for Ash Blossom. So they actually had like seven forms of interaction. <laughs> right. So. Thankfully, okay. Ash is once per turn. So we're yeah, no longer so afraid of his hand at all, especially since we have a terraforming. But you definitely link summon before you terraforming because you don't want him to know you already have the field spell. He could waste a Veiler here. Yeah. Well, or any of those other broken, interactions. <laughs> we're looking at the burn Dolker uh, activations as well. Yes. And sure enough, there goes one of them. Yeah. Yeah, the Ultima Conductor Trano Arcade Jester is literally the most threatening thing, because if they time it correctly, my turn will just abruptly end, and my opponent just swings over. There goes the Dweller, so that's going to hurt the Doyon later on. Yeah. And once again, if he UCTs here, the game is over. <laughs> Yeah, this is the actual last opportunity they get for a ultimate conductor trano. And he just anything. dulkas it again. He feels confident. And then Dweller's going to negate everything else. So now you've... Yeah, he's got five racks. Okay. Yeah, and then we got our maxi. Now, the only thing you haven't summoned yet is red. So if you search for red off I met you and then summon it from the field spell and he UCTs it, I think you still yeah, okay, lose. Okay. So I think that's the last opportunity he gets, actually. So... Yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah, he's shooting Riser Dragon, which is largely irrelevant. It's probably he was just trying to get it to stop asking if he wanted to use Fibrax over and over, honestly. Absolutely. And we get that Reborn, which is gonna be super clutch. Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna get to resolve this. It doesn't matter what we get, we've played for all of our And he colors. doesn't UCTU. Yeah, this is literally where that... it feels like in My Hero Academia, where you see all the different elements flying from point to point for all the different bearers of. Uh, one for all before. Yeah, that's, that's kind of it. what's happening now when we build up the chat. Yeah, the game should be over here. You had an extender to play through the UCT after that and still had a face up monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The UTC, there was about three chances too soon. But the, to, to the opponent's credit, they probably didn't realize I was going to be able to do all this. And this they destroyed be trans? the yeah. says, So the reason that the UTC being used later is they destroyed Dolcap, they used all the materials, but it's probably telegraphs, but they don't have anything in their hand. So now we got to access Kid Talker. We can't go for the. Uh, we do not have anywhere near enough resources to get the. Uh, what do you, the update update jammer. Yeah. But we've got enough resources to sweep the board. And absolutely chunk our opponent out. Oh, yeah, I didn't have enough Link Monsters to get there. So. Oppo my opponent, uh, at this point, I am banking on that they burn through every resource in their deck in order to stop me from being able to win. And they've got to beat a 5300 uh, access code talker, which I think they can't do. Uh, I think UTC is their only big monster. Yeah. yeah, so opponent concedes. Because they can't beat 5300, they can't flip face down. And that was by far the hardest match I played on the entire climb to flat one. So shout out to Cartoons if you ever get a chance to see this. Should have been playing Toons. But, um, <laughs> yeah, the Attic Mister deck is just so insane. I absolutely love the deck. I'm going to be playing it all the way up to the next season. Uh, I don't see a reason to change at the moment. And it depends on what kind of releases that they put into the game, if there's a new theme or something. But Attic Mister, when you, can do, when you can play through that, like if I'm the opponent, you have to go through the replay and... I think if I can do everything I want to do uninterrupted and still lose, then maybe I'm on the wrong deck this point. <laughs> but again, the game was over if they'd have just snapped the um, ultimate on my first normal summon. That was that was game. But it's a case of they just they probably weren't familiar with the matchup, so I'm not gonna hold that against them.